today we will ask Professor Vink about seat ergonomics. Welcome, Mr. Vink. So, um, people have been sitting for thousands of years, and um, you really think that designers can bring something new? Yes, yes. Uh, we know now, for instance, that sitting is the new smoking. Uh, Commissaris describes in her paper that sitting leads to cardiovascular disorders, type 2 di diabetes, depression, obesity, and, and some forms of cancer. Okay, well, that's all very interesting and maybe even a bit scary, but um, uh, this has nothing to do with seat design. Oh, yes, it has. Uh, because in designing a seat, you can stimulate the variation of posture. And variation of posture is essential, and uh, you should look at the whole travel of, for instance, using a seat. If you look at an aircraft seat, uh, there are different stages to observe, and then you can stimulate variation of movement. Uh, okay, well, that, that's again very interesting, but um, uh, variation in posture isn't always possible, for instance, when you're driving a car. Oh, yes, it is. In January 2016, Sigrid van Veen did her defend her PhD thesis in this university, and she developed a seat for a BMW car, which slowly moves, so the backrest and the seat pan, they were l moving a little bit. And she defined the range which is safe, and what, uh, guess what? People felt much more comfortable after sitting in this seat. No, I can imagine. Um, you mentioned journey uh, earlier on. Um, uh, we were not going to run aside from a car to see uh, what <laughs> a driver is doing, now do we? <laughs> no. Well, in an aircraft seat, it's uh, uh, important to look at the whole journey. So not only the sitting, but also the in and egress. And people do eat in their seat, they sleep in their seat, they read in their seat, and they work with a tablet uh, or a laptop as well. Okay, well, you seem to know a lot. Uh, uh, but how to start with a new seat design? Uh, that's a good question. Well, Suzanne Heemstra van Maastricht showed in her PhD, also on this uh, university, that starting with the context, so what's around it, and the activities is very important. So what do people do in the seat? For reading, for instance, a more reclined, so the, the seat pen should be more reclined, mm -hmm. uh, a more reclined position is uh, uh, preferred. So what you should do, and for eating, for instance, a more uh, 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 forward backrest is needed. So you should start with observing people and define the positions of the backrest. Okay, well, the backrest, of course, but um, well, there is not only a backrest uh, to a chair. So, yeah. No, wait, wait, I come back to that later, but there's still something I want to say about the backrest. In fact, we need only uh, uh, support at some points in the back. And that's important because we want for vehicles, for, for electric cars and for airplanes, we want to make seats lighter to reduce emissions. And according to Gosens, we also need some free shoulder space. So often the backrest is too, um, too big, so we there are a lot of possibilities in the backrest to make a uh, uh, back lighter. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, just to remind you, a seat is to sit on, you know, so uh, yeah, go, yeah. go ahead with your uh, seat pen story. Oh yeah, that's true. So then we have the backrest, and wha then we can calculate, if you ha know the angle of the backrest, you can calculate what the ideal position of the seat pen is, and that's done by a shear force model of Gosens and Snyders, they published that. And because for comfort, if this goes backwards, you glide out of your seat. And you don't want to glide out of your seat, and this model calculates with, with which angle, which seat pen uh, angle uh, corresponds. And so then you have the ideal angle, so that's maybe the first thing to start if you design a seat. <coughs> okay, so and there's, there's more than the angle of the seat pen, uh, isn't there? So uh, how should it be formed? Uh, that's also very new. Uh, Matthias Frans from BMW and Susanne Heemstra van der Stricht uh, from our university, they developed 3D scans. So they made 3D scans of the back and of the, the seat pen and then translated that to the ideal form of uh, a seat. Uh, in this figure, you can see that uh, by calculations, the form is uh, different, especially in this part of the leg. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of variation, uh, so that's a real challenge if you design a good seat. Okay, <coughs> so I don't want to sit on a wooden, a plastic or iron seat pen. Um, so is there uh, nothing to the softness of the seat? Yeah, that's true. You, you have the form, of course, which you can base on the 3D scanning. 
uh, but uh, uh, there's also at the TU, TU Munich and BMW, they did for many years uh, research on the ideal pressure distribution, and the outcome is shown uh, in this picture. The most weight should be uh, on the in the back of the seat, uh, about 50 to 65 uh, 50 65%, and uh, less weight should be in front of the seat, about 6%. Okay, so theoretically that's a nice story, but is there already a seat, is there already a seat designed uh, uh, according to these requirements? Well, uh, the combination of variation of posture and the ideal posture based on 3D scans for, uh, spe for specific tasks is certainly not available and then also not with the ideal pressure distribution. But parts of the theory is applied now in BMW cars and also in Zodiac aircraft seats. And we work together with BMW and Zodiac on these uh, seats. Okay. Well, thank you for your...